What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Just talking about Jordan Peele's nope in this video here today. Now there was an interview that came out recently from the co-stars and the cast members and Jordan Peele himself sitting down with I believe Fandango. This is an article I'm pulling though from Collider where they're talking about the upcoming film and things we can expect. Talking about how jo when Jordan Peele wrote it and what he had going on in his mindset while writing it. So recently Peele said this about nope. He said that I wrote it in a time when we were a little bit worried about the future of cinema. So the first thing I knew was I wanted to create a spectacle. I wanted to create something the audience would have to come see. As far as some messaging or commentary that I picked up on that I guess he said or was talking about, he said it's a horror epic, but it has some points in it that are meant to elicit a very audible reaction in theaters. He went on then to continue to describe the film as the great American UFO story, saying that it deals with spectacle and the good and bad that comes from this idea of attention. Now, what's interesting is someone who was at a test screening for the film did reach out to me and tell me that they felt that there was this there was this danger of fame aspect to the movie. So I'm curious if if when he's saying that uh, it deals with spectacle and the good and bad about about what comes from this idea of attention, if that's related to fame, because we know I've also done this video where I just recently talked about someone having a theory about the exploitation of certain things for fame attention and now his wording here makes me think is this really going to be talking about stuff like that where it's addressing how many people will do certain things for their own gain they're going after a certain serious issue they pretend that they care about it or that they give a crap they really don't only off of the basis that they care they care because they want to see how much can they benefit from the exploitation of someone else's downfall someone else's suffering something else of course that it could be talking about in respect to this movie would of course be the aliens and you know the obsession maybe with one of the characters wanted to capture them and expose them and have this other ulterior motive about how this could do things for them and you know just the bigger picture for them versus how they're ignoring this threat that these aliens pose to the to the community that they reside in now brandon per, per, i believe it's mouse perea who is one of the stars in the film said we could just expect something different from peel this time something totally new i think jordan has changed cinema already and he's going to do it again he's operating at his highest level so it's insane that you're giving this director this type of platform to really speak and tell a story and to do it from this his style with this type of spectacle it's going to blow people's minds now of course this is just a lot of i would say fluff wording to get you excited um on, honestly i'm still very excited for this movie despite some of the weaker responses i guess that came out from some test screenings because again i feel like there's some messaging the fact that he's teasing some of it jordan peele himself i would say teasing some of it here in this interview tells me that a lot of the messaging and commentary might have been going over certain people's heads because of course those who were sharing their reactions from the test screens online they're not the only ones who saw it they're just the ones who got to share their thoughts online under these uh accounts that of course didn't have their actual names since they were sharing it on reddit and stuff like that because most people when they're going to these test screens they're signing ndas so when considering that stuff and what he's saying in this interview peeled again that being i'm like maybe again there really is just a big thing that went over those people's heads those who again went out of the way to share their thoughts coming out of the, te the test screening now the actors also mentioned how peel would write the characters in this movie with the actor portraying them in mind so i think that's a pretty cool aspect i know that i think kiki herself has already talked about this the fact that he would go to them for input learn their thoughts on it and then i guess go about writing the character based off of their own input and of course what he wanted to do with the character so that's a pretty cool unique approach to take as it relates to showing how a filmmaker really is interested in telling a story that's not only benefiting themselves but also those that they're going to help bring their imagination to life which is a really cool thing to hear about from jordan peele so or about jordan peele i guess now a new featurette also came out as well with peele teasing that at the core of this film it's about the siblings oj and i think the character kiki's playing is emerald and again these characters are portrayed by kaluuya and uh, kiki palmer 
OJ apparently is running the horse ranch while trying to reconnect with his sister, it seems. And then Kiki teases that her character has a lot of charisma. So recently there was this movie, of course, that came out called The Black Phone. And you, we, I think many of us are in the same boat that the sibling dynamic between those two was the heart of the film. So I hope we can see something here that kind of is on the same level. Then again, one of the benefits, I think, with The Black Phone is that those are very young kids. And, you know, when you're a very young kid your sibling is your i would say your very first best friend and there's something a lot more special and unique with seeing a bond portrayed by actors on screen i would say when they're kids portraying these young siblings versus of course two grown adults not saying that kiki and and daniel can't give us compelling performances but if they can somehow tap into this uh because it looks like i guess for the most part they'll be reconnecting there'll be there'll be tension between them and they'll be reconnecting and we'll be seeing certain things about them that of course have dr made them drift apart maybe this is just again what i'm interpreting from the words that these people have used and then we'll get to see them be reconnected through this alien invasion and they'll see that they had a lot more in common than they thought they had if there's somehow though a lot of heart they can be tapped into then this sibling dynamic could end up being one of the biggest strongest aspects and praises coming out for this film as well um all in all i liked what i was hearing in this fandango interview the teasing of what we could be getting as far as like a social commentary aspect was the most exciting for me of course going over this idea of the dangers good and bad of attention and maybe that does tie into something regarding fame and people exploiting things for fame and again of course with fame what do you get you get attention and again somebody's already reached out to me kind of talking about stuff like that prior to this interview even being released so i'm like okay maybe there is some genuine truth to it and I'll get to see the film myself in a few weeks when it releases later in the month of July. You all get to see it too. Uh, as far as, again, the alien invasion stuff, you know, they haven't shown... I don't believe they've shown us any real legitimate aliens so far in this movie. I do believe that there is a chance, a very strong chance, that what we saw in the first trailer wasn't an alien. It's someone dressed up pretending to be an alien. So if we actually do see aliens in the movie, they've done a pretty good job in not showing them in anything which is going to make seeing them much more compelling i would imagine depending on how they look <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video